What's going on? What's going on? We back. Good fella Sports TV on official review um, for Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury uh, from your boy CJ Goodfellow. If you didn't know, now it, now you know. They went to a split draw. And, um, you know, I personally thought Tyson Fury won. I had to go back and, and score the fight fully. Um, you know, ringside asked Floyd who was winning after like four or five, round, five or six rounds. He said he had Fury up 5 0 or 6 0. Um, and then the, uh, the Showtime commentary cast said you probably can only find a way to get Wilder one round, okay? So, you know, Wilder got two knockdowns. That would give him four rounds, right? And I just think mathematically two more rounds will make it even because uh, Fury didn't get a knockdown. So it ain't too far-fetched to, sc uh, to score the draw, you know? But uh, um, I thought Fury boxed well. I think I think Deontay Wilder was a disgrace to boxing uh, to, to American boxing last night. Um, he came ill prepared. Um, you know, I don't know what type of spar partners he had, but that was, I mean, I, that make me, I don't think he should even put on a pair of gloves again, man, with the same trainer. Okay. Um, he was looking for one big shot last night. Um, said he was, he wanted to go to the body. He didn't do that. He did it. And, and, and he, he did it in spurts. He didn't consistently go to the body. He landed some good right, left hands to the body, man, that dug into Tyson Fury and kind of stopped his movement. But, um, you know, so, I mean, so, you know, so be it, man. You know, that was, you know, boxing is just, ne boxing can never get out of his own way. All right. Um, this could, this, I mean, a lot of people, you know, on social media that don't talk boxing, you know, was talking about this fight and, you know, most people thought Fury won. Yes. I'm just talking about straight casual fans. Um, uh, most people, I think a few guys said they thought it was staged and set up and I don't think it's too far fetched. I made a comment. We was on live last night. That definitely could be the case that this fight was a uh, was staged because, um, like I said in my last video, um, I read an article on ESPN and I will link that to this description as well. If you didn't catch that video, just in the description it should be article link or source link on the ESPN article where they said that um, you know, this was the biggest event over all eight football games that was on last night, and they needed Tyson Fury to win so Vegas, you know, so to Vegas to win a lot of money. Obviously, they had one better. You know, Tyson Fury didn't win, and Deontay Wilder didn't win. It went to a split draw. So Vegas eight last night, and now they're trying to sell a, a, a rematch of what kills me. That's neither guy was irate, you know, about losing. You know, they didn't act like, oh, I won the fight. Tyson Fury wasn't mad. Tyson Fury just looked attempt to go 12 rounds. And maybe maybe Tyson Fury look at it this way, okay? You know, uh, the, the, you know, the win on points, excuse me, Fury, he could tempt the win on points, but maybe Fury looks at it this way. Like I had to rematch him anyway. Okay. Uh, he had a rematch clause. You know, I had a, I, I had a rematch clause, you know, we had to fight again anyway. So, you know what, you know, I'm going to be better next camp and I can do it again. But anybody that think they won, it'd be irate, you know, they show some type of, uh, you know, some type of, you know, aggressive emotion, but neither one of the guys did. They seemed like it was happy with it being a draw. You know, and they was happy to come back and make another, make more money and kind of tease Joshua, in which I do a video about that, which I didn't plan on doing a video about the Joshua thing versus one of them. But it, it's coming. So be on the look. I'm, I'm doing as many videos as I can early in the day, and I possibly do uh, one or two later on at night. So that's why you see on these videos come back to back. But, um, you know, early on in the fight, you know, um, you know, it was Fury was filling them out. I didn't feel like Fury won the first five or six rounds. I think I had Wilder, you know, squeezing out a round or two. Um, but, um, you know, Fury just got into a groove. You know, he was will, he was too crafty and he was too slick. Um, and he came in better condition, you know, coming in at 256 and a half. He came in a better condition. He had more, more, more wind than Deontay Wilder. And I think that's a disgrace, you know. That's a disgrace for Deontay Wilder to come in at 212, which I think ultimately – became a mistake because he didn't he didn't let his hands he 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 not a good combination puncher so the speed it, it wasn't it wasn't like okay like it wasn't like damn the speed is like just too much it was like you you winding your you winding your punches up you load your punches up and fury felt 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 them you know he was able to do what good defensive fighters do roll the punches even when he got hit he was rolling with punches catching them on the glove and water his his clean punches were coming from the jab and them body shots when he threw them. He just didn't go to the body and Wilder just was real, real uh you know, he was real, real just lethargic last night, man, with his attack. He loading up, looking for one shot, looking for one shot, 
not letting the punches flow. He still hasn't learned to throw combinations. And Fury came perfectly prepared for him, and he gave him a boxing lesson. You know what I'm saying? A real, real boxing lesson. There's no way somebody that beat a, 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 a drug addiction coming off a pet conviction from the UKAD, no way a guy like that, okay, you know, who blow up in 400 pounds supposed to come in here and have more stamina than you. It's not supposed to happen. You know, the guy, the, the guy is not supposed to come in here and make that happen. And it ain't like, you know, Fury was, you know, laying on him, on him like on a, like he did Steve Cunningham on the ropes. Fury was just, you know, boxing him. He was beating him with a one-two. A one-two, he couldn't miss with the one-two on side of uh, Wilder head. And Wilder face started swelling. And maybe he couldn't start seeing some more of them punches. Then he just kept one-two on them. Uh, Wilder didn't put, put, didn't force the pace. Uh, Wilder wasn't aggressive. And Fury, to be feather-fisted, it's different feather-fisted than being a feather-fisted lightweight like part of my Najee. At heavyweight, you still got to respect everybody's power. And he was heavy. He was too heavy for Wilder. And Wilder came in too light. And, and Wilder next fight might want to come in above 230. You know, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think Wilder was exposed. Um, and I just think, uh, you know, he needed a new team. Seriously. He needed a new coach, a coach, somebody that could show him some boxing things. But at 33 years old, what can you show him? What can you really uh, teach Deontay Wilder? They improved his jab. You know, what What can you show him? You know, that would have to be the selling point to a new coach. Because obviously he went in there and then listened to his team and loaded up for one shot. And this wasn't a good look for heavyweight American heavyweight boxing. We know American heavyweight boxing been dead. You know, the Brits had that on lock or, or over in the U, uh, Europe with uh, the uh, Klitschko's. But Deontay Wilder, you know, got exposed tonight. And people want to start to say, you know, you know about Anthony Joshua and this and that. I'm going to say this right here. Tyson Fury would beat the hell out of Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight, period. Okay? In my opinion. Now, if they rematch... You know, can Deontay Wilder beat him? Possibly. Possibly. You know? But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not really looking forward to the rematch immediately right now, man. I'm going to sit there and uh, probably watch the fight uh, two or three times and and this and that. But it, this just shows you the sad state of heavyweight boxing is in America, man. It's in, a, it's in a pathetic state, man, for this guy to come out there and lay an egg like he did last night and just look like a fool in front of Everybody in the stadium, and then we talk about the crowd in a minute. Everybody on TV watching. I mean, he didn't he didn't win no fans tonight. <laughs> you know, you know, boxing didn't win no new fans tonight with his decision, and people saying it was it, it was staged. And you know, when you when you equal in the Vegas thing, where Vegas needed Fury to win to break bang, now they got a draw, so they basically took everybody money. And this is why I don't bet on boxing, period. But. You know, the crowd, you know, when they say they didn't sell no tickets, I had to learn the hard way about the uh, PBC cards. PBC, the PBC tickets don't move until the week of the fight for the most part, you know, for a nine Floyd Mayweather event. You know, it don't move to the week of the fight, you know. And um, and that's just that's just the situation. You know, it just they don't move to the week of the fight. And um, it was a, a big packed crowd. It was lit. I know a few other guys went. I know Cali Enigma went. My other homeboy, he went as well too. And it was just it was it was packed. To, it was packed. You know, and they said Ty, uh, Deontay Wilder couldn't sell no tickets, and Fury couldn't sell no tickets. Fury brought a whole bunch of fans over. People were saying USA. They were saying the UK. It was a nice atmosphere for for both men. You know, um, but also as well, and I squeeze and I squeeze this in as well in the review. Adrian Broner was streaming a pay-per-view card on, on, on Instagram. Okay? This dude was squeezing the pay-per-view card on Instagram. You know, I don't know why. I don't know if he ended up streaming the main event, but, you know, he was streaming it. And um, I think he did start streaming the main event again, if I if I remember correctly. But uh, I know Deontay Wilder said, you know, made a comment about Adrian Broner saying, why do people continue to hang around him and knowing he this and that? That's what was relayed to me. And he must have felt some type of way because he, he was streaming an event. He almost got to 2,000 people that was watching the pay-per-view event on his Instagram. Now, would they, would they uh, talk to AB? Would they tell AB why you do that? Did he, somebody call AB to take it down? I don't know. And would they find out about it? But, you know, it was. It, I don't think that was a good look. And, and that's just the story of black people hating on each other. Um 
and, and crab and buckle mentality. Now, Adrian Barner would be mad if Deontay Wilder streamed him and Pacquiao fight. You know, and you, you hate to see friendly fire between two brothers, you know, that both got pay-per-view fights coming up. And, you know, when I learned about the pay-per-view fight they had coming, uh, that was Adrian Broner was streaming it, you know, what's funny about it, Adrian Broner Pacquiao pay-per-view promo came up, you know, because if you didn't notice, Adrian Broner wasn't there. Errol Spence was there. Um, Derek James was there. Floyd Mayweather was there. A lot of different fighters. The, uh, Jamel Charlo was there. You know, uh, Mikey Garcia was there, you know, but, you know, for 75 bucks, was it worth it? I ain't paid for it, but I definitely would have been mad if I paid for that, that type of fight that Wilder was fighting for 75 bucks. You know, the one time he got the chance to shine and, and show that, you know, you know, it's, uh, you get pay-per-view, you know, he pay-per-view worthy, get a knockout. He don't get a knockout. You know, he definitely missed an opportunity to become a star. And really you know, take his status to another level on America. And he, he failed to impress. You know, a lot of people was there. You know, Shaq and a lot of guys was there. And, you know, I'm glad I didn't end up going to that fight. Because, you know, I, I, I'm i glad I didn't end up going to that fight. It just wasn't. Like, heavyweight boxing is just. It's just. It's never going to be what it once was. You're never going to have coordinated fighters. You're never going to have got fighters that. To have the skill level. You're not ever going to have the Ernie Shavers, the Joe Frazier's, or the George Foreman's, the Muhammad Ali's again, or even the Larry Holmes. You're never going to have those guys again. You know, even Michael Spinks, Leon Spinks. I mean, you're never going to have guys like that. Michael Moore, David Tua, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Riddick Bowe, you know, Tommy Morrison. You're not going to have those fighters no more. That division is never going to be what it once was, man. And America is never going to have a guy. That's going to do that's going to really, you know, step in there and, and deliver what we need as a heavyweight title holder or a champion. You know, and I think this last night with Deontay Wilder being our last hope, because most people don't believe in a uh, grease ball, big baby Miller. Um, you know, I think he dis he disappointed me last night. He let a lot of people down and he lost. He, he lo Well, he didn't gain a lot of fans last night. He didn't. But Tyson Fury. He he ain't gonna be no star over here boxing like that. Trust me, uh, American Americans want knockouts from their heavyweights. You know, they want knockouts. They want uh flam they want flamboyancy like speed and and good quickness and power like Muhammad Ali had. You know, he was an activist. That's what made him so much better. And he beat big treacherous punchers. And for Tyson Fury, it's no big treacherous punchers to beat. It ain't no 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 George Foreman or no Sonny Liston or shit. Ain't even the Floyd Patterson around. You know, for him to make a name in the heavyweight. So I think it's best for him to go back to the UK and press Deon, uh, press Joshua, especially if, after he rematch Wilder, he probably beats Wilder. Um, I'll be trying to get that fight in the UK next time. Seriously. You know, if I'm him. But, you know, I'm pretty sure they got something in the contract to protect against that. But, you know, overall, you know, I, I, it was an okay fight. It kept my attention. I'd probably give it a, a five or six out of ten. But... I think clearly Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight. Um, I think clearly um, boxing politics kick in again, and um, people tired. People tired of it, man. And, and every time boxing gets the opportunity to be on the forefront and, and to capitalize on the momentum it got, you know, it does something like this with, with the scorecards and and the long ten count. You know what I'm saying? And, and I believe that. You know, it was longer than the 10 count. And I said that in the video I just did. But Jack Reese is the type of referee that will throw, uh, throw the towel back in the corner and ask the fighter, do we want to fight? He's done that before. So, you know, at the end of the day, if they had fought in New York, would that fight be in New York? Uh, would Jack Reese still be in the ref? I don't think so. But at the end of the day, that just shows you how critical refs and judges is when they elect the refs and judges for a fight. And like I said, neither guy seemed to be irate or angry about the decision. That makes me a little bit uh, skeptical as well, too. But boxing, boxing and a lot of other sports have always been corrupt. We know that. We know boxing and other sorts, uh, uh, sports have always been corrupt. Uh, and also, the undercard, it lived up to the expectations of being crappy and shitty. Um, Luis Ortiz, let me squeeze this in. He uh, basically carried Kaufman for 9 to 10 rounds. Um, Joe Joyce did what he had to do, got Joe Hanks out there and won. And Jerry Hurd was trying to was in a glorified sparring match, trying to use the shoulder roll, get hit upside the head, and got tired of hit upside his head and went to the body. But he said his shoulder felt good after the fight. So 
This one no seventy five dollar card. Boxing need to reduce his pay per views down to thirty dollars. Tiger and Phil Mickelson pay per view did th- uh, a million do- a million pay per view buys for thirty bucks. Um, they had to end up refunding that junk because it had technical difficulty. So, like I said, man, boxing is, is doing too much. You can't be a, a, a six or fifth a fifth or sixth rate sport in America and charge top dollar for your events. Okay, you know if I had paid my seventy five dollars for this fight, I'd have felt robbed. But it's interesting to see what the pay per view numbers will be. Um, I wonder will they announce it, you know, or or, or they leak out. I think it's gonna be more of the variety. It's probably gonna leak out if they bad. If the pay per view numbers are good, they'd be they'd be on top. So, um, I think a rematch should come next. I think Joshua's probably gonna fight Dillian White. I'm gonna do a video dedicated to to Joshua and these two guys, Wilder and Fury, coming up. But like I said, man, I, it wasn't the greatest fight, but it kept my attention because anytime you got a knockout punch like Deontay Wilder, it keep you on your toes. Um, but like I said, this, this scene, I, 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 I just thought it was staged, man. I'm sorry. I didn't, I really didn't, I don't know, man. I just, I had to watch it again, you know, but it just seemed real convenient that this was a split draw. You know, I know Dominic Brazil, like, damn, I wanted my shot, but we'll see if they do a media rematch, man. But, you know, I can see, I, I guess you could see, I can see it being a draw, but I just thought Fury just boxed well, and he made Deontay Wilder look like a fool, kept him off balance, and uh, Fury did his thing, man. He did, man. Any guy that come back from what he came back from, and he put on a dominant performance like that, um, credit, he won to me. Just based off that, he came in here uh, losing a couple hundred pounds, you know, got back to shape, and he told y'all this is the best Fury he's been, and uh, I think he just, you know, whooped on Deontay Wilder, and Wilder should be ashamed of himself to get tired in a fight like that. You know, but hey, it is what it is, man. Good fellow sports TV. Uh, the Fury Water review wasn't the best review I did. I was all over the place, but uh, solid, fair enough. Uh, don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, uh, you can reach out to me in the email. We got the Facebook group. But if you need to DM me on Facebook or Twitter or add me at Twitter for a question, video uh, inqu- uh, video request, or business or sponsorship inquiry, that link there as well. You can always hit me up in the email. Also, the instrumental link there as well. Want to make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description as well. Don't forget to join our Facebook group family. Appreciate everybody that do join. And let me know who y'all had winning uh, last night. Let me hear the scorecards. And uh, if you got a link where I can watch the fight again, put that in the description. I'd love to watch it again when I get an opportunity after football go off this Sunday. Good fellow sports TV. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is.